Welcome to how to use the Instant Atlas Single Map HTML template. If you would like information on how to create the dynamic report that we are going through today, then all you need to do is have a look at the How to Use the Instant Atlas Publisher with HTML Templates video. Our HTML templates are available to view in most modern browsers, such as Internet Explorer 9, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. If you are using an older internet browser, such as Internet Explorer 6, 7, or 8, HTML5 technology is not supported, therefore it will not be possible to view our HTML dynamic reports, but it will be possible to view our Flash dynamic reports. If you would like information on our single map Flash template, then please refer to the How to use the Instant Add Single Map Flash template video. The data we have uploaded here is purely fictitious, and you can see how easy it is to upload your own data by viewing our How to use the Instant Add Excel Data Manager video. So let's have a look through the single map HTML template. The single map template combines a single map table, comparison table, bar chart, time series chart, pie chart, and metadata box for data display. It is ideally suited to viewing time series data and comparing trends for different geographies. At the top of the map component, we have the theme name, indicator, and dates we have currently selected. If I want to change the data that I'm looking at, I just need to click on data. If this were a multi-geography report, then I would get to choose which geography I would like to view. I would then select the theme that I'm interested in, the indicator that I'm interested in, and also the date. You can see that I have updated all of my different chart components, and so now I can also apply a filter. Click on the filter button and select a type of filter, in this case regions, and then select the filter area you would like to apply. You will then be able to see that this filter has applied to all of the chart components as well, and only the areas in that filter are displayed in the table and bar chart. If I hover over the map, I can click the filter button to clear my filter selection, or I can use the filter button in the table as well. Now we will have a look at the legend. You can see each of the different breaks here. If you select one of the classification groups, then it will select these areas in the different components. If I hover over the map, I can click the clear button to clear my selection, or I can use the clear button in the table as well. I can also turn off and on my base layer here, as well as my contextual layer, Louisiana regions. If I click on the little cog icon here, I can open the legend settings. From here, I can change the type of classifier, the number of breaks, I can reverse the palette, and also change the color of my palette. As you select these, you will see that they instantly update in your dynamic report. Now let's move on to the map. I can select areas by clicking on the map, and in the data tip I can see the area name and value associated to that specific date and area. I can also select multiple areas by simply clicking on more areas in the map, and these also get highlighted in the other chart components. I can zoom in and out of the map, and use the icon here to zoom to full extent. The data table displayed here shows all of the areas of my map and highlights those that have been selected. I have the names in the name column, the data that is mapped in the indicator column, and I can sort both of these columns ascending or descending if I wish. I've got the class that each area is shown in by the colored circle here. We have the notes icon here, which is specific to the area, and this can link to any web page, PDF, Word, or Excel document that you like. If you click on an area in the table here, then this will zoom to the selected area, like so. We can now look at the small table here. This is the comparison table, which contains all of the comparison areas and their values. These areas are not represented in the map, but can be shown in the bar chart and time series chart below. If we now look at the chart here on the bottom right hand side, this is the bar chart, which is sorted ascending by data value, and the colors correspond to which break they belong to. If I hover over, the tip displays the area and value, and if I select an area, it will also be selected in the other components as well. The chart at the bottom of the dynamic report is the time series chart, and it displays the values for my selected areas across all time periods. You can see the values on the y-axis and the time scale on the x-axis, and if you hover over a point, the tip will display the area and value for that time period. On the bottom left hand side we have the pie chart. If I hover over a segment, I can see the percentage of areas within that class, and I can also select a segment, and this will then be reflected in the other components. This box here on the left hand side is the metadata box. This contains any additional information you would like to display on a theme, indicator and date level. In the top right hand corner we have the menu bar. If you click on the help button then it will open our standard help page. This page contains further information on each of the different components in the dynamic report. 
If you wish to print your report, then click on the print button and a new window will open where you will be able to increase and decrease the size of the dynamic report. Or you could choose to full screen separate components and print them individually. With our HTML edition templates, you also have the option to share the dynamic report, either by email, which generates the link of where the report is located, or you can embed the report into a web page. You can also export individual components. If you hover over a component, then click on the export icon in the top right hand corner, a new window with the image will open and you can right click and save the image. So that is how simple it is to use the Instant Atlas Single Map HTML Edition template. If you would like to find out how to create an Instant Atlas HTML dynamic report, then please refer to the How to Use Instant Atlas Publisher with HTML templates video.